This unit is all about polygons. And what we're going to do is learn about generic stuff about polygons, and then we're going to go into specific polygons. So first, let's talk about what a polygon really is. It is a closed figure made up of line segments. And I want you to think of those as sides and vertices. So think of corners. Each vertex of a polygon joins only two line segments. So if we look at these shapes that I have here, we can see that we have some polygons and some that are not polygons. On the left, we have polygons that have sides that are lines joined at a vertex. In a vertex, think of corners. And we could have them like this lightning bolt where the corners are caved in, and that's okay. It's a closed figure. On the right, we have shapes that are not polygons. That would be like circles or ovals or shapes that are not closed up. Or if you see this last shape that we have here, this is not a polygon because this vertex here joins more than two line segments. Okay, now that we know what polygons are, let's talk about the parts of a polygon. Well, a vertex is actually the endpoint where the side of a figure meets another side. So on our little shape here, this is a vertex. If I can get one. Hang on. So these corners are all vertexes. Now, a polygon also has angles. We have interior angles, and those are the angle that is formed at each vertex inside the polygon. So if you look at our shape, all of these that I've marked in orange are interior angles. We also have exterior angles, and that is an angle formed outside the polygon by extending the sides. As you can see, I've extended the sides of this polygon, and the angles formed at each of those extensions are called exterior angles. Notice that there is only one exterior angle for each vertex. Now that we know about the parts of a polygon, let's talk about how you would name a polygon. How you would do that is that you would list the consecutive vertices in order clockwise. And it does not matter where you start. So let's take a look at this polygon. I'm going to name it XCTUA, or I could name it UAXCT. As long as I'm going clockwise and I'm listing them in consecutive order, I'm fine. You can also classify polygons, and we have three ways of classifying them. The first, we're going to classify polygons by being either convex or concave. Now, a convex polygon, the actual definition is if you extend the sides of a polygon, the sides do not pierce the interior of the polygon. Um, I want you to think of that as all of the corners point out. A concave polygon, the actual definition is if you extend the sides of a polygon and it pierces the interior, then it is convex. But you can just think of it as that at least one of the corners caves in. That is a concave polygon. Another way to classify polygons is by the number of sides. And you know this, a three-sided figure is a triangle, a four-sided is a quadrilateral, five-sided pentagon, and so far. And I have these listed through 12, with that 12-sided figure is a dodecagon. And I expect you to have these memorized through 12. Now, after 12, they do have names, but I don't expect you to know those. And you are welcome to call those an ingon. So if I have a 15-sided figure, I could call that a 15-gon if I do not know the formal name. And the last way that we can classify trying, or, sorry, polygons is by um, type. Now, if all of the sides of a polygon are equal, that, or congruent, that is called an equilateral, or, sorry, sorry, equilateral polygon. Now, if all of the angles are congruent, that's called an equiangular polygon. And if you have a shape that has 
all the sides are congruent and all of the angles congruent, we call that a regular polygon. And we will use this term a lot, so make sure you have these memorized. Okay, you're ready for your teacher talk.